Hey guys, it's your girl Shelby and today I am so excited to talk all about hormones, aka Hormones. Hormones play a huge role in your skin. Whenever your hormones, well in your whole body really, and whenever your hormones get out of balance or out of whack, this is when you start to see things like acne, eczema, dermatitis, low energy, moodiness, and really weight gain, here's my pinky, weight gain, and any disease really is caused by imbalance of hormones. So today we're going to talk all about how to balance these hormones in three simple steps. So let's do this. So first of all, what are hormones? So hormones are actually little messengers, I call them little messengers in the body, that control when we sleep, so when we start to feel tired, that's a hormone being released. When we're hungry, so that's a hormone being released there called ghrelin. So really hormones control so much of our daily you know habits that we take for granted another thing too is that the liver makes hormones so whenever your liver is you know overburdened or you have liver issues the hormones are automatically going to be imbalanced what makes hormones imbalanced so some top things that make hormones imbalanced that i've found in you know working with clients as a nutritionist and i mean you know, my research that I do every single day, hormones get imbalanced by stress. So it's a huge, huge factor that um, really imbalances hormones. Stress is like worse than eating at McDonald's, okay? Like putting stress on your body is just, causes so much premature aging and just depletes so much nutrients and uh, vitamins. And it's just bad. It's just really, really, really bad. So we're gonna talk about some stress management. I'm gonna talk more about this in some other videos too, but yeah, stress is one. Toxins is another thing. So toxins from the skincare we put on our bodies, obviously from the environmental toxins and just from the foods we eat, so from the pesticides. So that's another thing, toxins, and then an unhealthy diet. So this is definitely going to cause hormone imbalance. I was gonna say hormone balance, but it doesn't cause hormone balance. So eating foods like sugar, processed foods, foods you know that are higher in gluten, so lots of breads, lots of carbohydrates, this is gonna imbalance uh, your hormone. So I wanna talk about three things that you can start doing, three, that you can start doing that will really, really help to balance your hormones. Hormones is such a huge topic. There's so much to talk about. Um, I don't want this video to be like 20 minutes long. I'm trying to make it, you know, really quick, easy, and informative. Um, but I will be doing other videos on different things that you can do to balance your hormones. So, you know, actually you guys can comment below what you think. Um, any questions that you'd like me to talk about. So many different topics. Today I'm just gonna talk about three little things. So, well, three, not six. So the first thing to balance your hormones is to reduce stress this is huge so stress puts so as i was saying before it puts so much i guess of a burden on the body it depletes so many nutrients and causes your body and your hormones to go out of balance so easily so practicing some stress management is definitely in key so i mean it's easy to say oh you know i'm gonna practice stress management and you know, this is something that I personally have been struggling with is really balancing stress and you know, really focusing on the things that are important. And I call it fake stress, the things that we, you know, kind of make up in our minds and stress ourselves out about that don't really matter. So, or even I find like comparing ourselves to other people that causes so much stress. So just, you know, thinking of little things that you do every day, like mentally, like you know, you could be stressing about what you're eating. So you could really, you know, focus on making more of a meal plan, like just more preparing, more organizational things to really lower your stress. I'm gonna cover more of this in another video. The second thing to balance the hormones is to balance your blood sugar. So this ties into stress too, because when you're stressed, another thing, it will really, really, um, it will imbalance your blood sugar levels. And whenever your blood sugar levels are imbalanced, this is when crap starts to happen, like acne and skin issues and just hormone havoc. Uh, imbalanced blood sugar levels cause other things like weight gain, like lack of sleep, like having a hard time sleeping, appetite. So you're, you may not be hungry or maybe binge eating at night. So this really causes a, a lot of havoc on the body. So balancing your blood sugar is, you know, not, that hard really i mean i always call over complicate things and i was like you know what it's so easy to balance the blood sugar what you got to do is you basically have to eat 
So I eat about three meals a day, so breakfast, lunch, dinner, and then I'll have snacks in between. But basically you're just trying to balance your blood sugar, eating more protein rich foods, incorporating fibers like chia seeds. So I love chia seeds. I put them in my smoothie. I put them on my toast with nut butter. I put them in everything. They taste like nothing. They're like nice and crunchy. You can put on your popcorn. You can put on your salad. You can do any of these guys. Grab these at Costco. Put the link below for the brand of chia. I can't put the link below for Costco, but it's a good deal. Organic chia seeds. And anyways, yeah, just really incorporating more fiber into your diet, which I will cover in more videos as well, but just simple tips. So what I like to do is just to make sure I have um, lots of nuts and seeds, you know, uh, fruits and greens have a lot of fiber, especially greens. So just trying to have greens with each meal. So like in the morning I'll do a smoothie with like greens and the lunch I'll do like a salad with um, some chicken or whatever I have, so eggs. Really, and then dinner I'll do steamed vegetables and you know another. I love salad, so like salad is my thing. So I should like salad all day long. Third tip that I have for you guys today to balance your hormones is to really, 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 really reduce tox your toxin exposure. And one huge way to do this is to make sure that you really read all of the products you're using in the body. So I don't mean like you know going crazy and stressing yourself out about it, but just start with one thing at a time. So what I started with, well, I went crazy and I threw everything out basically, but you know, here's a hint. If you don't want to be like this one, you know, cold turkey, do everything at the same time. If you're like that, awesome, do it. Um, but if you want to start with one thing at a time, well, is to start with like, so start with your skincare. Start with, you know, looking at the ingredients and the labels. Obviously, I started Shell Me Naturals because I was doing this and I couldn't really find an option. Even in the natural world, I found, you know, they still had a lot of ingredients and I'm huge on minimal, obviously minimal, high quality and just really high performing ingredients. So, off topic. But um, yeah, just starting to read your labels and starting, if you can't read anything or you can't understand something, then that's usually the key to throw it out. There's a lot of amazing resources, like I've said before, there's this, I just have it on my shelf, you know, handy. But there's a book called No More Dirty Look, so they literally list like the top 10 chemicals to avoid. So it's not overwhelming, I mean, 10 things to look for. But basically what I go for is if you can't read it then, or you can't like understand it, like, I would just check a doc scientist science doctor there's a scientist who he studied um, basically human toxic toxin exposure for his whole life I don't have his name right now I will try and find it and post it in the description but he found through his studies that 80% of the toxins that are in our bodies even in babies born are toxins from skincare and hair care body care like any cosmetics makeup so it's crazy. So the way this relates to hormones, so I'm going off to like off on the toxins here, but whenever your body has too much toxic load, it's really, really heavy on your liver because your liver is what cleanses, is what detoxifies and helps to, and makes the hormones. So it has, the liver has so many, the liver is just like a multitasker, it's amazing. I, I like strive to be like the liver one day, okay? But anyway, <laughs> the liver will, clean the body basically and when there's too much toxins in the body the uh, the liver starts to store these toxins in the fat cells so that's why people hold on to extra extra weight that they can't get rid of because you know they have too much toxic load so that's why it's great to detox so I'm gonna be definitely talking about some detoxes that I love and some detoxes that I have done in other videos but yeah that's basically it so leave a comment if you guys have any questions, please, or any like things that you've tried for hormones. I'd love to hear it. Really love to hear any of your suggestions. And yeah, give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Have an amazing day, guys.